the flatteration that this dress does to somebody's body, I just can't even explain it. I love the way it looked on the model for the first time ever on the Zara If you didn't see it on my Instagram, you definitely saw it on my TikTok, okay? Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing a Zara haul, which if you guys are new here and you might not know, we love Zara around here, okay? And their fall, winter fashion has been out and it is so good, I don't even have words. So I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna go straight into the items that I got. Obviously you guys know everything's gonna be linked down in the description and I'll just let you guys know the sizes that I have for all of these items. As for reference for me, I'm usually a size small or US 4 in my tops and a medium slash US 6 in my bottoms. And depending on how I want an item to fit, I'll either size with a small or size with a medium. So the first item that I got is actually this cute little mini white purse, which is showing up to be very oversaturated currently right now. This is the little white purse. It's so cute, it's so tiny. I don't even know if it'll fit my phone. I'm sure it will, honestly. But, um, and luckily I just have a card holder, so I don't have like a big wallet to fit. It also comes with a little, it's like a really dark silver, which I love. I don't have anything in the silver tones because obviously I'm a gold fiend. I have everything in gold, but I really like this. All right. The next item that I got from Zara is actually this beautiful like cardigan coat situation. It is thick enough that it could be like coat material, but it's the way that it's structured, it almost looks like it's just a very light cardigan. I love the way it looks. It has a little hoodie situation, which is very different from the coats that are currently trending, which is why I think my eye gravitated towards it. I mean, if you guys saw my Boohoo haul, I got this black coat, which is gorgeous and big, and it's very much what we're seeing in like trending fashion right now. But this one is a little bit shorter, it's a little bit more casual, um, and it's in this like, it's not pure white, I'm not sure why it's showing up as pure white on camera, but it's almost like an off-white, not too beigey, but not too gray, right in between, so it's a really, really beautiful neutral color. I love it, it also has a little waist tie, but if you don't wanna wear the waist tie itself, it has these really cool, um, black buttons that make it a little bit more formal. So I feel like something like this, you can dress it up, but you can also dress it down to make it like a little bit more street style. Um, but I don't know, it just gave me a lot of options and there was a lot of things running through my head when I saw this. So I really liked it. Obviously you guys know I'm gonna show you guys how I style it in this video, but if you guys want more ways or ideas on how to style anything that you see on my channel you can go over on my instagram because i always do like the little reels the next two items are actually a set and i'll show you what they look like together and separately this cream sweater it's a very loose fitted lightweight sweater that's also a turtleneck you guys know <laughs> if you guys don't i have a thing for turtlenecks okay i just feel like there's nothing more sophisticated that eternal neck in the winter and autumn. Um, so I just really love this beautiful cream color one. I had another one that was cream, but I got some makeup on it and it will not come off for the life of me. So I decided to get another one. <laughs> Hopefully this one will last a little bit longer. But this on its own, I think is really cute to do with a bra tuck or you can wear this one with just a pair of jeans. I just feel like a cream basic turtleneck is just gonna go such a long way, even throw on a trench coat on top of it. You can dress it down really easily, but you can also dress it up by wearing it as a two-piece set, which brings me to the next item, which is this skirt. On the Zara website, it came together, and I love that. Um, I love the way it looked on the model for <laughs> the first time ever on the Zara website. I got it together. Now, for me, I don't know. You guys let me know if you like the way this looks. I'm really on edge. A part of me is like, I kind of like it, but another part of me is like, do I like it? <laughs> I don't really know. I need to kind of sleep on this one a little bit, but um, you could really dress this up and it could look so beautiful in my head. I just don't know if I'm executing it all the way, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the, co in the comment section. Um, but I got this skirt in a size small as opposed to getting it in a size medium and this is how it fits. Keep in mind, I usually wear a size medium. So it's a little bit oversized a little, um, for this one as well as the top I also got in a size small. The next item that I got is a little bit different from all the rest of the items I'm showing you guys today. I don't know why I got so many like formal items. But this one is this gray 
cargo kind of pants. Um, you guys know the ones that I've been talking about from a local European. They look so good. I think I talked about it in one of my previous videos. They're always sold out. And I tried a pair from Amazon. They did not look good. But I got these from Zara and I saw them in store but I already had purchased this online in this grayish, greenish blue. What color is this? I don't know. It looks like it's a dark gray color. It looks so good. I got this in a size US 10. I'm usually a size US 6 so I obviously oversize. The length of it fits perfectly which is always a struggle for me since I'm 5'7". And the ones from Amazon, although they looked good they were too short and nine times out of ten when i buy things on amazon they always end up being too short so i try not to get pants from amazon but these ones from zara are you guys can see in the length perfect to hit like literally you can wear them low waisted you can wear them high waisted and it looks really good it is a perfect length i'm just surprised that the size 10 fit the way it does so just keep in mind these pants fit true to size um, and if you want it to look like that super baggy, super oversized look, you're gonna have to oversize at least two sizes up. The, the, there is a drawstring in the bottom, uh, on the waist, as well as on the legs. So if you wanna make it a little bit tighter around your ankles, you can do that, which I love, but I would highly recommend this. They have, this one came in so many different colors as well, if you guys are looking. Um, so if you can't find the ones from local or European or they're sold out, definitely go for those ones. Like I said, just double oversized. Okay, this next item, you guys, if you're on my Instagram, you already saw it. It is this tube top dress that almost looks like it's like in this like painted kind of camo-ish. It's giving camo vibes. Are you guys getting the camo vibes? From Zara. I got it in a size small because I wanted it to fit really tight um, and if I want something to fit a little bit smaller or tighter, I'll go with a size small as opposed to my regular size. I love this. It is the perfect length. Like I said, I'm 5'7 and it hit me right above, I want to say right above my ankle. So it's like in that interesting like mid-axi, mid-axi, get it? It's not maxi, it's not midi. It's like that mid-axi length, which is so trending right now. Um, if you guys saw, Kendall Jenner did like a variation of this dress and I think that's what Zara took the inspiration of because Zara likes to do a lot of like designer inspo items and it looks really good. I love this dress. It has like three layers of mesh. The only thing is I wish the mesh were connected to each other because sometimes I found myself pulling on the bottom mesh and then pulling down on the top. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like a little weird. Um, but overall, a beautiful, gorgeous dress. You guys can see in the picture that I posted on my Instagram. If you haven't, um, I'm obsessed. If you didn't see it on my Instagram, you definitely saw it on my TikTok, okay? Either way, this dress made its round. I got a somewhat similar dress, just in different hues and different colors. And this one is not a tube dress, it is um, just a sleeveless, but it's kind of like a high neck. It is so good. If you wanted to incorporate this style but go a little bit more on the modest side, this is a beautiful, beautiful version of this dress. And the reason why I picked this one up is because I actually have a wedding that I'm going to at the end of the month and I'm really excited to wear this dress with it. It is so gorgeous. Again, a very similar Medaxi length. Um, and with a pair of pointed heels, I think this would look so gorgeous. It's so flattering. The flatteration that this dress does to somebody's body, I just can't even explain it. And I think it's because, like you guys can see, right in the mid area, like in your higher waist area, there's this rouging that's happening right here, which the other dress does not do. And it is just so beautiful. Even when I tried this on in the Zara try, -all, try on room or whatever, literally the girl that works there was like, girl, you have to buy this dress. And I was like, immediately, yes, of course. Like, what do you think? Of course. <laughs> and I also got this dress in a size small. So if any of these items are already sold out, I'm gonna make sure to find a similar item, hopefully. And if not, I am so sorry because Zara items, I feel like most of the, the classic ones will come back every year. Um, so I'm hoping that this video is helpful to you guys. But that is all the items that I got from Zara. I feel like they felt like so much more. 
I know I've blazed through this video, but I'm hoping that the little cutouts or the outfit ideas in this video were helpful to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to follow my Instagram to see how I style all of these items and my TikTok because I show all of my packages and all the new in items first over on TikTok and then do the full haul here on my YouTube. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Swerving the pot holes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? Then when